everybody welcome back to my channel let's do a little uh, update on this lawsuit this was posted yesterday by mr larry zern on his twitter account and i'll leave a link below and for anyone who doesn't know who he is he played sheldon in part three friday the 13th and he is a copyright lawyer now and he keeps us up to date on what's going on in this case uh, someone asked him how long before resolution for the lawsuit you said it was in june Mr. Zern replied, for some strange reason, the judges on the Second Circuit of Court of Appeal have not informed me as to when they will release their decision. But as soon as they do, I will let you know. And he said it possibly in June, but he can't say 100% because, you know, he's not the judge there, guys. So don't, you know, hold his feet to the fire. He's just making a guess. But that's the latest thing going on right now. And also, if you want to, go... Go uh, subscribe to his Twitter account and thank Mr. Zerner. If you got any questions about the case like this guy, just ask him. He's more than happy to help you. Okay, uh, back in February, this came out. Mr. Zerner breaks down this week's oral arguments on Friday 13th. May, June decisions expected. I'm not going to go over all this. This is a lot. But this was on Bloody Disgusting, and it kind of goes over what was going on. And Mr. Zerner, like I said, breaks it down for you. For anybody who wants to get more in depth about the case, I'll leave a link below. Go check it out. Gives you everything you need to know. Gets you up to date. Also, for those that actually want to go through the every single um, document in this case since it started back in 2018 up to date, there is this website I found called uh, courtrecorder.com, I believe is the name of it. And I'll leave a link below. And you do have to make an account, but you can go through all the documentation, what was said behind the scenes of Horror Inc. versus Victor Miller. And, huh, for failure to file an appearance. Notice to Victor Miller. Huh, I might have to go back and read that. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked there, guys. But for those who actually want to read through all the transcripts, see what was said in the court motions, everything, uh, there you go. Anything I can help you out with. Okay, so let's do a quick recap for anybody who doesn't know what's going on. This is a lawsuit between Horror Inc., which is Sean Cunningham, and Victor Miller. Victor Miller was the original screenplay writer for Friday 13th, and according to Sean, he hired him through the Writers Guild. And... He got paid, I believe it was $9,600 for the original screenplay. Uh, he got rights on every movie showing that he was the original screenwriter. He also gets benefits, and that was it. Now, two through whatever the last one was, Victor Mel did not have anything to do with it. That was Sean and New Writers. So, fast forward 35 years, there is a law that original screenwriter can come out and claim rights to his original work and so Victor Miller comes out he he did what was right apparently and gave a two-year notice that hey 35 years come I'm you know I'm fixed to come out for my rights and apparently they just couldn't come to agreement next thing you know they go to court well the judge says until this is settled all property pertaining to Friday 13th that means toys movies and of course our video game no more new content period can't make no toys can't make no new movies and the judge at the end awarded it to Victor Miller which means Victor Miller got the rights back to Camp Crystal Lake uh, Mrs. Borges and also that little creepy Jason I believe but that was his original creation. Now, what he did not have rights to, he did not win the rights to the hockey mask Jason that we have known to become iconic for Friday the 13th. That he was not awarded. Also, the law only applies to the United States. It does not apply outside the United States, so Victor Miller does not have rights outside the United States because that law doesn't exist. And it does not affect any fan-made movies such as, you know, like we had Voorhees come out, um, Slash Cast got hers coming out, and uh, Reviving Camp Blood or something, they've changed the name again. But um, 
uh, even Never Hike Alone. His fish get a trilogy. He got Kickstarter funded. Anyway, moving forward, back they Sean Cunningham took him back to court, and what the argument basically is is that he says, or his lawyer says, excuse me, his lawyer said that the judge failed to take into account that Victor Miller was hired through a company. He was an employee of the company and therefore does not have the rights to terminate the, um, right, um, the whatever you want to call it, the rights to Friday the 13th. He doesn't have the rights to do that because he was an employee. And I do believe, now I may be wrong, if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me in the comments below, but I believe that they were saying that he was an independent contractor, so yes, he does have the right. So I don't know. I wasn't there. I have no idea which way it is. But this is boils down basically it's about money. That's what, what it is. I'm sure there's some egos going on. And this is going to probably drag out a little bit longer. I'm a, and being a little candid here up front, like I said, this is not going probably with this, what I expect to happen is whoever loses will file an appeal for another court case and or another court appearance and here we go again uh at the end of this thing when it ends not if but when and maybe both will croak by the time it finishes but but when it ends i do expect it all go back to sean cunningham the reason why is first off if sean, you know either the judge rewards it to sean okay he's got it uh, Judge Ward's Victor. Sean's probably, him and Victor probably have, reluctantly have to come to agreement and he'll just have to pay him off and get the rights back. That's what I'm expecting to happen. Um, even Victor Miller's lawyer said something to the effect, basically he had, since this come out, this has been a domino effect for other movies like, you know, like I said, Terminator, uh, what was there, Die Hard, Hugh Frame, Roger Rabbit, all them, that, he expected Hollywood just to renegotiate and just move forward as business as usual. It's just a payday. That's all this is. And it sucks for the fans, I know, but yeah, welcome to the world of uh, court cases and laws and lawsuits. It sucks. All right, guys, that is all I got right now. Uh, anything else comes up, I'll throw it up. I wish I had some better news, but that's about all I got right now, which most of you are not even surprised, I know. Uh, do not get mad at Larry Zern about June because, like I said, he's not the judge, so he he can't tell you yes or no. He's just, you know, he's like the rest of us just waiting for it to want this mess to be done just like the rest of us. Um, I will leave a link below to everything. And like I said, go to Mr. Zern and say, hey, thank you for keeping us form, keep it good work, you know. Tell him, you know, thank you for everything he does. Alrighty, guys, I have talked on long enough, and I'm going to call it a night. All right, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good day.